what is light? Now, I made up this question myself because I was having a conversa an email conversation with somebody about my previous video, 166, where I mentioned that I had asked my higher self that I wanted to be an informational channel rather than a healing channel, and my higher self had said, yes, give me some time. So through the email, the person asked me, why is it they need time? And I explained that information is light and our bodies can only take so much light at the same time. If too much light comes in, they will simply explode. Or until they explode, we would not feel very comfortable because our bodies are way too small compared to the real us. So then this person was surprised that light is actually information. So we're going to use this opportunity to explain this. Well, explain as much as I have learned so far. Now, light is information. And the more information a being has, the lighter they become, or the brighter they become, or the more light they have around them. When we are meditating sometimes, and we see other realms that are full of light, these are beings, these are beings that have a lot of information beings that know a lot. So if you would like to become a lighter being, simply learn more. Now, when we say learn more, we don't mean read the phone book. Not data. There are some realities that survive on pure data. data. But the majority of the informational realities have information through experience. This is how they have become lighter and lighter. I remember a... I had to turn it off for a few seconds simply because there was too much noise out in the hallway. Okay, I remember a line in the book Conversations with God where God explains to the author you, you meaning the people on earth you are God's information. This is what we are. Look at this picture. See these lines coming out from the center. Each line is one of us. Now, notice at the edge of each line, each rod, I don't know what to call these, at the end you will notice a very small light part, whitish part at the end of each line. This is us on earth. This little light part is who we are on earth, the part that we can actually see, our body. We are learning and the information goes back through the line all the way to the source. This is why we keep saying no two people are here for the same experiences. The source does not need more than one line sending back the same experience, the same way. And this is why there is more than one truth. And there will always be more than one truth. Because as we have said before, if there were only one truth, there would only be one of us on earth. So if you can see yourself as an individual, I'm calling it line, but I don't think it's the right word. I'm sorry, I cannot find another word right now. If you can see yourself as an individual line that you are, 
you will start amassing more information to send back to the source. But as long as you see yourself as only half a line and you have to find one more line to become whole, then your growth gets stunted, it gets stagnated, you stop growing, you don't move out away from the source to see what else is out there so that you can send more information back. You can never be disconnected from the source. This can never happen no much how much no matter how much you try and how long you try it for. It is impossible to break one of these lines and disconnect them from the source. But this is why no this is one of the reasons when I channel I keep getting information from so many people's higher self. Be an individual. See yourself as an individual. Yes, we are all one if we go back to the source. But where we are now, we are not meant to be all one. Be an individual and you will send even more information back home. And this makes home even brighter even lighter because this is all light is information I'm gonna go somewhere else for a second many times we will see beings that are not very bright and they play games in the lower frequencies the lower dimensions games like black magic and things like that and we call them bad or evil they are neither bad nor evil. They simply don't have access to a lot of information yet. Or they chose not to follow information. And this is why they have a lower vibration and they don't look very bright. They actually look a little bit dark. They have limited amounts of information. So if you do want to become enlightened, learn more experience more now i do recommend reading more but not reading just for the sake of getting information thinking this is going to make you enlightened you need to read slowly you need to get yourself into the book become a part of whatever story you are reading and then you have access to the information that the person wrote, that the person put on that book. This way you also have access to that person's knowledge, to that person's light, and you become lighter. What kind of books you read really doesn't matter, as long as, of course, as you are interested in the subject you are reading. The book does not matter. You do not need to go and get these metaphysical books if this is not what you are interested in. And keep asking questions. I wonder why this happens like this. Who else am I? What else can I be? What else would I like to become? And always remember this picture. You are one of these trillion of lights that have left the source with the Big Bang. And we go out to gather information. And this is what makes us light. What I'm going to say now is not a judgment, even though I love judging, but this is not a judgment. Many people think that love is light. And if they are loving, they will become enlightened. This is not the case. I'm trying to say it as nicely as possible. 
This is not the case. You can continue loving if you like, but this is not what makes you lighter. Information, knowledge, experience is what makes you lighter and lighter. Now, you don't have to become lighter and lighter and lighter. But if you do want to, learn more. And don't be afraid of the fact that you forget. Once you learn something, it stays there. You have forgotten it simply because you have mo moved further. So what you learned was there. It's still there. It's never going to disappear. It will always be on your string of light. On your line. Always. So don't worry about the fact that you learned something once, but you don't remember it now. Of course you do not remember it now, because now you are in another time, another place. This is why. So now, learn something for now. And this will also stay there. It's like a bank account. You might say, I don't even remember what the money that I put in there three years ago looks like. But it's still there. It can never disappear. So this is how information is. Just keep learning slowly and try not to stagnate by feeling that you are not whole on your own, by feeling that you are not a unique part of the source, and by feeling that you need to get together with another thread to be whole or to be happy. This is one of the fastest ways to become stagnated. This does not mean you cannot have a relationship or it does not mean you can have not have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or it does not mean you cannot have sex. It simply means you are already whole on your own. Once you understand this, after this, you can do whatever you like because you know who you are and because you know you are an individual and there is no other individual in the cosmos just like you. I will leave it at this.